It's Zagadat. My name is Peace Hyde and I'm a TV personality, media entrepreneur and the West African correspondent for Forbes. Now I've not always had that job title. About two years ago if you had asked me who am I, I would have said to you that I'm a science teacher, specialising in chemistry and biology to be precise, and also a member of the senior management team. When I made the decision to relocate back to Africa for the first time two years ago, I had a dream. I wanted to give back to the continent, but also to identify what was my purpose in life. And it has been an absolutely amazing journey so far. During the course of this journey, I decided that I wanted to stick to education. No matter how much I did in the entertainment space, I still had that pull for the classroom and for learning and teaching. So I decided to go to the markets. I came across a group of young girls in a marketplace popularly known as Makala Market in Ghana, Accra. These young girls were known as Kayo. So this was actually my first encounter with a group of market girls. Um, and immediately when I met them and just seeing what they were going through, I felt a real deep sense of injustice. I was so intrigued by this story, I decided to spend a day in their lives just to gauge how much these ladies went through. And I'm telling you, it was a really, really difficult experience. So where am I taking this to? Where am I taking it to? We are having more, I beg! <laughs> um, it was one of the most difficult experiences I've ever had in my whole entire life. I went home absolutely knackered just from the whole entire experience, carrying things up and down, the walking, it was insane. But for these poor girls, they would sleep there on the streets and repeat this process over and over again, day in, day out. You see, the only difference between them and the home child is the opportunity the latter had. overwhelming feeling in me that something needed to be done for these poor girls. At the time I didn't have enough money to do anything really that would have a huge impact. So I would simply go to the marketplace each weekend and teach whoever I could find that was willing to learn some basic numeracy, literacy and science. But I believed in my heart there was more that needed to be done. There had to be a way of making more of an impact than this one woman crusade to help these poor girls. It was then that I realized I could do a lot more. This was how Aim High Africa was initially born. So you're all drawing your favorite thing. I remember a very significant moment for me was one of the mothers of the children I used to teach in the market classes broke down. She expressed to me how difficult it had been for her to raise her child who had Down syndrome and a hole in the heart condition. I couldn't even express in words how sad that situation was. He also um, he did a really nice picture of a ball, yeah. and he also did he drew himself as well. Um. So he's in the process of drawing. Wait on, wait on, wait on. So he's really good with art. He's oh, really right. with art, but uh, math, science, as well. science, but with English. Look at them. It's only Solomon's father who supports. I can't, I can't go to any place. I can't do any job. So I stay at home and I'm looking at Solomon. So you can drink it's only the father who is the breadwinner. And she try a lot. To support back the children, the children are like, I have six children. Solomon just about dancing. I don't want Solomon to walk around because these children they like going out outside. I don't like that. So I take him to this. At least the time will come you learn something small. Solomon like drums very well. Drums and the piano. If you go to church, you go if where the drums are. I want them to have Solomon to, to, to come with somebody. Uh, at least the time will come I will no more be in the world. If Solomon 
for somebody it will know how to cook small also now live with uh, her life right. it's life so if one, somebody wants to bring some, they want to help they to help me to pick Solomon up MI Africa was designed as a movement to create an impact on the nation of young minds through the power of education and IT. Now, the goal is to build a better future. You see, I believe that a spotlight has been flagged on Africa, and if only the untapped human capital of the continent can be unlocked through education and entrepreneurship, then we'll have the tools to rewrite the rhetoric that exists about the continent. Aim Higher Africa is a charity organization and it's about educating, it's about inspiring and it's about empowering. At Aim Higher Africa we believe that every single person has the opportunity to succeed in life and be great and also provide you with different routes to find what makes you unique in yourself so you can turn your passion into a business. One of the things that you need to understand is the fact that you cannot do it alone. You need to be able to convince a lot of people to come on board your idea. Yes, teamwork. You need a team to help you. So it's very important to, to locate your passion. What is your passion? When people see something in you, they see your potential, they see your talent, they are willing to invest in you. Aim High Africa runs a series of initiatives all designed with the goal to educate through the use of IT. Now one of our strongest um, initiatives that we operate is called Ignite, where we go to schools and universities and we have an outreach that goes to marketplaces and the outskirts of the country to deliver tailored entrepreneurial classes to young students, all designed with the hope of empowering them to bridge the gap between poverty and prosperity. Now, we've toured the country and we've visited thousands and thousands of students through schools across the country. And we empower also our women. So we like to encourage them to make a stand in their communities, tap into their entrepreneurial spirit and try and give them the tools to enable them to build a business in order to transform their immediate communities and in the long term, their nation. My name is Sadiq Abdullah Abu. I'm co-founder and CEO of MuseAfrica.com and then Muse Africa, um, which is an emerging uh, media and entertainment brand for Africa. Hi, I'm Michelle McKinney Hammond, and I am proud to be a part of the Aim Higher Africa movement, which is trying to introduce university students and students to um, um, valuable lessons that they will need to become successful entrepreneurs, um, to build successful businesses for Africa and the world. I think that it's a very, it's a very rich event. I've been here um, for anybody who is seeking to touch base with young audiences and communicate to them. This is the surest way to actually get down to them. And they are doing a spectacular job empowering tomorrow's entrepreneurs today with a toolkit initiative, giving them the tools they need to prepare themselves for success and reaching their highest potential so that they can be gifts not just to Ghana, but to Africa and the rest of the world. So today we're here for Ignite. And Ignite is about you finding what is that thing in life that you may have not noticed. For some people, it might even be a problem, but if you pursue it, it may help you on the path to achieving your full potential. I am going to pass the mic to Madame Ofi. Our young women understand that they have to love themselves first and value who they are as young women. Secondly, they need to love what they're doing in this life. They need to love life. And that means basically living your passion, loving what you're doing. Hi, this is Amma K. Ababrese, and More Than a Woman, I think, is a very notable event. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Aim Higher for making it happen. And yes, be a woman, of course. And just remember, we can always be more. We can be more than, we can be anything we want. 
I believe as a nation and a continent, we have a long way to go. And as Aim High Africa, we work closely with policymakers and regulatory bodies to help start that dialogue about corporate social responsibility and building the new age of entrepreneurs through the power of educating. Africa is at the cusp of change and we need to provide enabling environments to transform the lives of impoverished communities for the better. It's absolutely imperative. We need to build this continent in order to create sustainable and scalable businesses for the future. The only way to do so is by empowering a league of entrepreneurs through the use of education and ICT. Now, I believe that together we can, and it's up to us to open the dialogue for Africa and the rest of the world.